Hi, you're inside Playhouse Disney. Swimming your way, it's the Little Mermaid Marathon. Two back-to-back -back episodes of The Little Mermaid. One talking dog. Hi, guys! You can talk. Yes, I can, Lemon. One new student. I'm going to school. Isn't he awesome? One Saturday morning. I'm a boy, not a dog. A boy, not a dog. What a day! He's Scott. He's Spot. Good dog. He's the dog who's taking over the school. Teacher's pet. New on Disney's One Saturday Morning. Saturdays on ABC. Every day inside Playhouse Disney, come visit the Big Blue House. This is what I wanted to show you. Where you'll find Bear, two otters, and even a mouse. There's Tutter and Ojo and Trilo and more. And you never know what will pop up for you to explore. <laughs> What's next? Come join Shadow, Luna, and the whole Bear crew. What a pleasant surprise. surprise. Yes, I know it is, Bear. Because they're all inside Playhouse Disney waiting to play with you. <laughs> Every morning inside Playhouse Disney. Playhouse Disney presents... Circle Time! Hi, I'm Steve, and we're trying to make the longest paper chain ever. Not anymore. We just ran out of paper. Uh-oh. That could be a problem. But you know what, guys? You just reminded me... Of a story! That's right. And it starts like this. Once upon a time, a king had a very beautiful daughter, and every man in the kingdom wanted to marry her. So the king decided to hold a contest. The first man who could tell an endless story, which was of course impossible, could marry the princess. But any man who tried and failed would be banished. Well, a few men tried to tell an endless story, but eventually they all ran out of story to tell. And so they were banished. And things were pretty quiet around the castle for a while. Until one day a guy named Bert knocked on the drawbridge door and told the king he wanted to enter the contest. Okay, but make it snappy, said the king. So Bert began. Once upon a time, a farmer built a huge barn, which he filled with wheat. But there was a teeny tiny hole in one of the walls, just big enough for an ant to crawl through. One day, an ant crawled through the hole and stole a piece of wheat. And then another ant crawled through the hole and stole another piece of wheat. And another, and another, and another, and another. Hey, have you guys heard this story before? No. no. Well, anyway. And so the story went. In time, the king grew so bored, he thought he'd go crazy. And he asked Bert, is this story ever gonna end? And Bert just smiled and said, nope. So Bert married the beautiful princess, but only after she made him promise that he would never tell the endless story again. You see, guys, sometimes what you think is impossible really isn't. You know what? That just gave me an idea. Instead of having the longest chain ever, how about a chain that never ends? Yeah! Yeah! Woohoo! Hey, we'll see you next yeah. time inside Playhouse Disney. Bye bye! <laughs> okay, where are my Bear in the Big Blue House kids? And my Roly Poly Oli crew? Howdy! PB and J Otter Team? Yeehaw! How about our Out of the Box group? Imagine if you could learn and play every day with friends like Bear. Oli, PB and J Otter, Tony and Viv, Pooh, and Ariel, too. You can inside Disney. where learning is powered by imagination. Noodle, noodle, noodle when problems arise, there's always a way to solve them completely like PB and J. A little imagination can help you think up the answer to any problem. You can use old things you just throw away. That's really smart. And with friendship and teamwork, you're ready to play. We did it! Just be inventive, creative, and then you'll come up with solutions again and again. Yeah. So start your day the Otter way. PB and J Otter. Every morning at 9, 8 central, inside Playhouse Disney.
every morning at 9.30, 8.30 Central inside Playhouse Disney. And now, Playhouse Disney takes a look at one of Ariel's closest pals, Flounder. You were my friend before I even knew what a friend was. Flounder's been Ariel's faithful friend, a guppy with the spunk to hold his own against anything that swims, except maybe jumbo sharks and sea witches. <laughs> now he's a big fish with little flounders of his own. In the new movie coming to video, the Little Mermaid 2 returned to the sea. You're sure not a guppy anymore. He's courageous. Go yourself, oh. pipsqueak. Ah. He's fearless. No way you're going in there alone. And you won't find a more loyal friend. Wild seahorses couldn't stop me. You can catch more of Flounder during the Little Mermaid Marathon all morning long inside Playhouse Disney. Growing. Learning with Playhouse Disney.